Hey everyone, this is Vesper and it's time to begin the M. Bison trailer breakdown. Now as usual guys, if you haven't seen my breakdowns before, I've done a breakdown of every Street Fighter V video up to this point and you can check that out by clicking on the link above. Alright then, so let's get started. The first thing we should talk about is they've further changed the lighting to the game. And I'll show you guys a comparison from the last trailer. You know, we see Nash before and now his face is a lot brighter now. So it looks like Capcom is continuing to tweak the graphics of the game. Now in that same Nash intro in the new trailer, we can see there's more detail on the side of the restaurant. You can look at the doors, we can see the lamps and the lights and the windows. You can see it's a lot more clear. We've seen a ton of graphical changes in the game in the last few trailers and I'm really looking forward to seeing some gameplay footage here because Capcom has been sending us some high res screenshots and it just looks great. And I don't think that these low res YouTube videos do the game justice. I think this is something that we have to see with our own eyes to see actually how much this game has evolved over Street Fighter 4. Um, we could definitely see a difference in the animations and the physics of the game. That's for sure, there's a huge leap from that. And don't forget guys, that this game will be running on the Unreal 4 engine, whereas Mortal Kombat X is running on the Unreal 3 engine right now. So let's talk about Bison himself right now, which Capcom calls the Emperor of Evil. And he does look a lot more sinister in this game, man. He's got a lot of utility, um, a lot of his moves use that cycle power of his, they're really trying to emphasize on it. And uh, we can see his trench coat looks pretty sick too, man. And it really shows off the physics of the game too, because you can see his like trench coat moving when he does all of his attacks and stuff. But what really stands out is the fact that he has white hair now, so everyone's calling him Old Man Bison now. And it could be that he's really old, or it could be that he's really powerful as well, because you know, his hair is like white, like Dante hair white, or um, like Shinokuma white, for example. Now, I don't really know the story of Bison too well. I know he's been swapping bodies and shit, so we don't know where he's at right now. But it could hint us a little bit on when Street Fighter V takes place. Now, I'm sure you guys are cooking up a lot of theories, but one thing I should point out is that Combo Fing posted an official post on M. Bison on Capcom Unity, and he says M. Bison has gotten a little older and a whole lot more vicious. So that pretty much confirms that his white hair has to do with his age. Well, I'm assuming it does. I'm assuming Peter knows more about the game than I do. I'm really happy that they're changing some of the appearances of these characters, even if it's very small and subtle, because it shows that their stories are moving forward, and I really like the game evolving. Alright, so let's move on to gameplay stuff. First thing I want to talk about is EX moves have been changed in Street Fighter V. Now the way EX moves worked before in Street Fighter V is they all followed the same trait. Every character would have this ink particle effect that would follow their body and trail their movements as they did their EX moves, and that was the tell. So the ink effect is still there, but now they've reapplied the flashing effect now, so it's a lot more blatant when someone's doing an EX special move. We actually got a hint about this before when Ono tweeted us a picture. So we can clearly see Nash doing his EX special move in this screenshot, and after the Bison trailer that pretty much confirms that all the characters had their EX special moves changed to the flashing effect, and it's flashing yellow and red. I guess Capcom felt that it wasn't clear enough on what was an EX move and what was a V-Trigger special attack. For example, even I got confused myself and I had to clarify that in my previous videos. So it was a pretty reasonable change, I guess. Alright, so let's talk about the 40 seconds of gameplay footage that Capcom has given us. Let's talk about Bison's jumping and neutral stance animation. Now we only get a glimpse of both, but when we see Bison jumping, he's looking like he's swooping down like he's Batman or some shit. <laughs> he's looking really sinister. And his neutral stance is very different. It's not like a traditional combat stance like you'd normally see. He's standing there waving his arms like he doesn't need to use any physical attacks and just rely on his psycho power. It's very godly, I would say. Not like as a pun, but it's very inhuman. I really like this. It has a lot of personality to Bison. But from a gameplay standpoint, we also have to consider that his hitbox is more slender now because before his legs were stretched out and it actually made his hitbox a little bit bigger in Street Fighter 4. Alright, so let's start talking about Bison's normal attacks now. Let's start with Bison's jumping hard punch. We can see it's very similar to Street Fighter 4 and it has that amazing vertical hitbox. There is a little difference though. We can see Bison do this flip on the startup frames before the punch comes out. Now in the trailer, Bison does this jumping hard punch four times and one of these times he does it neutral. And as we know, there's only three types of normals in Street Fighter 5 so far. I think this will be really useful for Bison to be able to do this on a neutral jump, but we haven't seen any other jump attacks in this trailer, so I have yet to see what the jumping hard kick looks like, for example. Moving on to standing hard punch, we can see the animation is now different. Bison is swiping downwards now. 
Now I only get to see about half the animation of this because Bison cancels the hard punch into a special move. And with that being said, you can cancel a special move from it. But we do have a screenshot as well showing us the entire animation. Bison does this full crescent swipe downwards and it kind of reminds me of Psycho Vanish from the Capcom vs SNK series. You guys remember that move, that whole paint the fence A groove combo stuff? That's the move I'm talking about. But anyways, it's actually from Street Fighter Cross Tekken. It's the same swipe that Bison uses when he does his cross art and he's switching to the next character. So yeah, I'll show you guys a quick clip of that here. This will be the closest we'll get to see this thing in full animation for now. Alright, so now we're looking at Bison's standing hard kick. The animation for this has also changed, and we know that Bison's standing hard kick in Street Fighter 4 was insane, man. It had a great hitbox and had excellent startup speed. In Street Fighter 4, it was an excellent footsie tool, but now that Bison's leg doesn't stick all the way out, it looks like it's mostly combo filler now. The animation looks almost exactly like Chun-Li's close hard kick from Street Fighter 4, and the fact that Bison now links a crouching medium punch after it, it shows us that it causes a lot of hit stun. I don't think you can special cancel out of this move, but I wouldn't be surprised if it forces stand on hit. With the new counter hit system in Street Fighter V, I'm not really surprised why Capcom changed the application of this move. Next up we have Bison's Crouching Medium Punch. Now for the most part, the animation looks the same as Street Fighter IV, except in Street Fighter IV, Bison lunges forward just a little bit. So by now I'm sure you guys have all realized that Bison now infuses all of his punch attacks that we've seen so far with Psycho Power. In Street Fighter 4, Bison did have some attacks that showed that Psycho Power off, that purple effect on his hand, such as his close standing hard punch and his crouching hard punch. So in Street Fighter 5, not only is all of his punch attacks infused with that Psycho Power, most of his special moves are as well. And when he lands a hit on the opponent, they're engulfed in purple flames. This effect is pretty cool, like I said, it adds more personality to the character, and I'm not sure if it actually has a gameplay element to it as well. When they're engulfed in flames, it seems like it's on a set amount of time, however, when Bison lands on non-Psycho Power hits, so a kick normal attack for example, the flames go away right away, or even after a head stomp. For now, I'm going to say that this is strictly just visual, and has nothing to do with gameplay, but it's pretty cool. Also, his crouching medium punch is special cancelable, so it's still used as a combo tool. Okay, so let's talk about Bison's crouching hard kick now. So yeah, I'm sure this move stood out for a lot of you guys when you first watched this trailer. This is Bison's signature slide, and it's been like this since the beginning of time. So there's a lot of stuff to talk about here. First off, the animation and speed for the most part still looks like it's keeping up with tradition. It's still the same. This move was mostly used by Bison players to maintain their charge while closing the distance, However, using it at max range could also be relatively safe on block. But in this trailer, we see a different result after you land it. This time, the opponent is flipping up in the air. Now, this is kind of nostalgic because we've seen this before in the Street Fighter 2 anime. I'll show you guys the quick clip here. You guys remember when Bison slides through Ken and Ryu and they fly up in the air? They're kind of inspired by that, I think. We can even see Bison have enough time to follow up with a juggle in the trailer. And I'm not too sure if Bison could do this at point blank range. Does the slide stop right on contact? We don't know. I find it kind of convenient in the trailer Bison is using it at max range so he can recover as fast as possible. So here's when it gets a little confusing. It seems that Bison's slide only does this juggle effect on counter hit because in this trailer, Bison is indeed landing a counter hit. Now there's something I forgot to mention to you guys. In the Taipei match with Gamer B versus Daigo, they updated the big counter hit effect. For the sake of me explaining this, let's just call this for now Fatal Counter. It's when you use a hard version of your attack as a counter hit and you get an extended amount of stun on the opponent. Now before in the old footage, the old trailers and when Combo Fiend went against Mike Ross, whenever they landed a fatal counter there used to be a flame effect, a flame igniting by the character when the hit landed. Ever since the Taipei match that effect is now gone, instead it's replaced by a gigantic spark effect when you land a fatal counter. Let me show you a clip of Daigo landing a fatal counter and then keep watching as Daigo does a crouching hard kick and pay attention to the effect that these hits do. Now I'm going to show you guys a side by side screenshot of the new fatal counter and Bison landing his crouching hard kick in the new trailer. Also notice that the effect itself with the opponent flipping up in the air is very similar when Ryu lands his fatal counter on his crouching hard punch which was shown in one of the old trailers. So hopefully I've convinced you guys that this is indeed a counter hit, now we got some questions to ask. 
The first question is how was this a counter hit in the first place when Nash was clearly in a neutral stance before he got hit? I guess it's not too much of a stretch to imagine that this video was done in training mode and they simply had the counter hit on. Now I am jumping ahead a little bit here. We know that Bison has his V trigger activated because he's engulfed in purple flames during this combo. When I first started breaking this down, I thought that Bison's V trigger was similar to Ryu where he always gets a counter hit on his first hit and that might explain why Nash is in his neutral stance. But if we fast forward through some of the footage, we see that Bison lands a jumping hard punch while he has his V trigger activated as well and it does not do the counter hit effect. So I guess we could just all assume that the counter hit was indeed turned on and this was done in training mode of some sort. So I guess the next question we should ask ourselves is, is it practical to use this as a fatal counter setup since it's a slide? Would you really want to risk this move using it at a point blank range? If the opponent blocks, you're pretty much dead, man. I think this will be fairly limited to use as a fatal counter. It'll be just used like it is in the trailer where you're at max range and you're hoping the opponent is whiffing something or he has in the startup frames of throwing a projectile, for example. It seems like it would be better to use a standing hard punch or a hard kick with what we've seen so far. But we can't turn our heads away about the fact that this is a huge reward if you do land a counter hit with this. So I guess the last question we should ask ourselves is does Bison's crouching hard kick do a hard knockdown on regular hit? Let me show you guys a screenshot that was sent by Capcom of Bison doing his crouching hard kick on Nash. Pay attention to Nash's animation as he's being hit. Look at Nash's head how it's leaning forward and it does look like he's about to fall down. Alright guys, so I'm going to go through this frame by frame. Now I want you guys to pay attention to Nash and look at the animation of him when he first gets hit. Alright, so we see his head creak to the side a bit. By the way, this makes no sense. I don't know why his head would do that. But notice what it looks like now. Now we're trying to find the exact same animation Nash was doing in that screenshot. So go frame by frame here. And we see the huge spark from the fatal counter. Head still creaked back. And then he flies up. And then he starts flipping. And we notice that it's never the exact same animation. So this is just counter hit only. And for some reason, Nash is spinning counterclockwise, which makes no sense. He should be spinning clockwise if you get hit from that angle. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm just nitpicking here, but I think uh, Capcom should have a little chat with the guy who animated this. So I guess it's safe for us to assume that Bison does do a hard knockdown on his regular crouching hard kick. And that would make a lot of sense, man, because if it only launched every time it hit, then what normal attack does he have that causes a hard knockdown? He wouldn't have one. Anyways, let's move on to the last two normal attacks that we see. Alright, so the last two normal attacks is the standing medium punch and the standing light kick. And we only get to see it for like a second, man. So let me show you the clip real quick here. This was the vine sent by Capcom, by the way. So the quality is not going to be the best. Alright, the, the normals already went by. So let me go by this frame by frame because it's just too hard to see. So... Okay, right here. This is a standing medium punch. You can tell just by the posture that Bison has. This is um, really similar to the animation of Bison's close medium punch in Street Fighter 4. And we still see that punches have that psycho power effect. And then Bison does a standing light kick, which also looks similar to Street Fighter 4. And then we notice that the psycho power effect goes away after you hit him with the kick. And you know, you can special cancel the standing light kick and it links after a standing medium punch. Nothing much really to talk about here guys because the footage is pretty crappy, but just so you know. All right, let's talk about throws now. In this trailer, we get to see both his back throw and his front throw. Now, one of the throws we see Bison lift Nash up by his face and then infuse cycle power right into him and then throw him to the other side. We're gonna assume that this is his back throw. Obviously a much different animation than a Street Fighter 4 counterpart where he impales you with his legs and then tosses you over. Uh, this looks like this is inspired by the Street Fighter 2 anime as well. The other throw where Bison lifts up Nash and he doesn't even touch him this time and he lifts him up with his cycle power and twirls him around and then tosses him to the other side of the screen. This is like some Jedi shit going on but this is really fitting for the new style of Bison we have here. Some of you guys might suspect this being a command throw. 
It is possible, there's some movie magic going on, so I can't see Bison really doing anything on the startup frames of his throw, or buffering any commands for a command throw. I wouldn't really be surprised if Bison does have a command throw, since he does have one as his Omega version in Street Fighter 4, so there's that. But for now I'm going to play it safe and just say this is his forward and back throw. Moving on to special moves now. Let's start with Bison's teleport first, since there will be some debate whether this is actually a special move teleport, or this is in fact Bison's dash. Let's talk about the animation itself first. Now we see Bison do two teleports in a row, and when he begins to do it, he starts to phase out and you actually see him dashing forward and then he's completely gone, and he starts to phase back in. From an animation standpoint, it looks really really cool. We even see Bison go right through Nash's projectile. So let's debate right now whether this is a teleport or whether it's Bison's new dash animation. We know in Street Fighter 4 Bison has four different teleports, he does it with a DP motion. You use punches to teleport behind the opponent and kicks to teleport right in front of the opponent. Now these two teleports track, it doesn't matter where the opponent is standing. You then can use a reverse DP motion to teleport away from the opponent. You can use punches to teleport about halfway across the screen and kicks to teleport all the way to the other side. So if this was a special move, and it worked the same way as it did in Street Fighter 4, the first teleport would be the kick version, which tracks and teleports him right in front of Nash, it would also go through the projectile as well. And then the second teleport would be using punches, which also tracks, and teleports him right behind Nash. So this argument could work, and if only Bison was a little further away, we could know for sure. Now let's say this is a dash, what hints do we have that say this is a dash? First off, the amount of distance Bison travels for both teleports seem relatively the same. The second hint is that Bison flinches slightly forward before he does the very first teleport, but that could also mean he's doing a command as well. The actual animation itself looks like a dash, you can clearly see Bison sliding forward towards the opponent. What would it look like if he was teleporting away? Finally, the last hint is that Bison seems to recover just a little too fast for it being a teleport. If this was Bison's dash, it would add a lot of utility to this game since he can go right through projectiles and who knows what else. It kind of reminds me of Senko from Darkstalkers, how she teleports when she dashes, but it also could be a command dash too. So what do you guys think? Is this a teleport special move like Bison has in Street Fighter 4 and previous games? Or is this his new dash? Let me know in the comments below. One more thing I should point out to you guys is the fact that Nash has already turned around completely before Bison is phasing in, which shows us that it's much easier to punish because the character's already turned around and you know, his attack won't whiff if you press the button too early. All right, moving on to Bison's next move, I'm gonna call this Psycho Absorb. Now in past fighting games with Bison, even the crossover titles, Bison had special moves that allowed him to nullify projectiles, and he also had his own projectile, but we've never seen a game where Bison has both. Now first off, I'm going to start by saying that this is not a charge attack, Bison is clearly standing there in neutral stance, and then we see him move slightly forward and then slightly crouch, so we can assume that it's a DP motion, or it could even be a half circle back motion. Now I'm sure after you guys have watched this trailer, you guys have seen this move and you're saying to yourself, hmm, this is Rose's Reflect. But it's not quite the same, because the sonic boom that Nash is throwing is being nullified or absorbed by Bison, and then he fires back his own projectile. This move seems more similar to something like Potemkin's Reflect from Guilty Gear, or Yamazaki's Reflect from CBS2. Two obvious things that show this is the fact that Nash throws a slow sonic boom. And then when Bison nullifies or absorbs it, he fires back his own projectile which is no longer a sonic boom, and the projectile is going a lot faster than the sonic boom was because once again it was a slow version. This implies that Bison is able to manipulate the speed of the fireball that he fires back, regardless of the speed it was initially thrown at. If this was the case, it would be depending on what strength Bison used when he did this attack in the first place. But I also wouldn't be surprised if they are all the same speed. Maybe Bison is able to manipulate where the fireball goes, if it goes diagonally up for example. Now the projectile that Bison throws back at Nash, it actually hits two times, it does two hits, and it knocks Nash down. This is kind of crazy because this acts like an EX version of a fireball. It does two hits mean that if Nash was able to throw another projectile, it would nullify that and still come towards him, and the fact that it knocks him down, giving Bison time to apply pressure. So the first question is, how many hits can this thing absorb? 
Is it only one hit, or can Bison absorb as many as he wants? What if Ryu threw a V-Trigger powered up fireball towards him? What would happen? At this time, I think it can only absorb one hit, and the EX version can absorb as many as you want. The second question we're probably asking ourselves is, does Bison still throw out a projectile if he doesn't absorb one? I would find it kind of doubtful that Capcom would give Bison his own projectile and be able to throw it flat out, because Bison already has a teleport-like move, so then he'd be able to throw projectiles and teleport behind the opponent, and this is something exactly like Nash. Nash is going to blow his entire super meter to do this. You could argue that Nash's teleport is a lot faster than Bison's, but I think that would just give Bison way too much utility. He'd be so nuts if he was able to do this. Now, if Bison was able to absorb the projectile, fire it back at you, and then teleport behind you, it would be more fair because it was the opponent's fault for throwing a projectile in the first place. Now, this cycle absorb, it seems to have a very slow startup. It seems like something you just can't use when you're close to the opponent because you'd eat a jump in for free. I'm also very curious if this has its own hitbox, and what I mean is, can Bison use this as just a flat out attack and not for nullifying projectiles? I think the animation for this is really cool by the way, because we see Bison, his hand is not even infused with cycle power before he absorbs it, and after he absorbs a projectile, then it's infused and then he throws it back at him, it's pretty cool. And it kinda might mean that Bison is able to store this. Nah, that's just too crazy. Alright, next special move. This one I'm gonna call Cycle Sting because of the similarities between the two moves. So the animation for this move has Bison reaching down and touching the floor and then rising up a huge purple flame pillar. While Bison's other hand arcs over his head with a trail of cycle power, it kinda looks like Saber Wolf's Eclipse from Killer Instinct. But the hitbox itself looks like it's just the pillar and it seems to hit three times. Now you might think that this could be Bison's Crouching Hard Punch since it does look kind of similar to Street Fighter 4, well, a little bit, but I highly doubt it because it hits three times and we can clearly see Bison cancelling it from his Crouching Medium Punch. Now after this move hits, we see Nash flip up in the air and it looks like Bison just might have enough time to juggle afterwards. The trailer cuts the footage short so I don't know for sure, Bison might be able to land a slide after, it's really tough to tell, he's just about to hit neutral just before Nash touches the ground. So what would be the use of this move? Now we already know from watching the trailer that Bison has a special attack which he can follow up with a head stomp, so we know it can't be combo filler. It would be too redundant, they would have too similar of a use. Same with nullifying projectiles, assuming that the pillar can nullify projectiles. I think that would be a little too redundant too, so that can't be the use either. I think the purpose of this move is it's going to be Bison's main reversal attack for Street Fighter V. This is why I call the move Psycho Sting, which is DiCaprio's attack, and I think it could be used mildly as an anti-air when the opponent is really in front of Bison. We know Bison's standing hard kick doesn't quite have that good diagonal hitbox anymore, so this move might be taking its place. I wouldn't really be surprised if Bison has upper body invulnerability on this special attack. But like I said, the main use would be his reversal. I'm assuming the EX version would be a really fast startup invincible reversal. Because think about it, what would be Bison's reversal options now? We know there's a possibility that he doesn't have a teleport, it could be his dash. We know that he might not have his Psycho Crusher and he can't use his EX Psycho Crusher either to get out. On top of that, we see when Bison does this combo, he cancels it from a crouching medium punch, implying that this is a charge. Charge down and up and punch, for example. This would make a lot of sense because then it wouldn't matter what side the opponent is on and Bison would be able to maintain his charge and do the reversal. It's time to talk about Bison's classic knee press special attack. So this wasn't shown in the trailer, only the EX version was shown in the trailer. We can only see it from this vine that Capcom sent us. So for the most part, it looks the same, so we can assume that it behaves the same as well. But one strange thing that we're seeing here is the animation of Nash. It doesn't seem like he's getting knocked down. Is it possible that the normal knee press doesn't knock down anymore and you can combo afterwards? That'd be pretty crazy. As usual, we don't get the entire animation so we don't know for sure. I think it'd be pretty crazy if Bison could combo after this, but I think what's going to happen is it just pushes Nash a little bit away from him and they both recover. We can also assume that this knee press is charge back, forward kick. Moving on to the EX version of Bison's knee press. We see in the startup animation, Bison phases out of the game for a single frame and then he phases back in and then he does a series of kicks. And it looks really similar to knee press nightmare, especially from the Street Fighter EX series. It seems like this move causes a hard knockdown and Bison actually teleports in front of Nash after he lands it. It's also worth noting that Bison has his V-Trigger activated when he's doing this move, but I don't think it has anything to do with what we're seeing. I think this will be used strictly as a combo ender in Street Fighter V, because it doesn't look like it travels as far as it did in Street Fighter 4. 
And I highly doubt that it has projectile invincibility still, because he already has a bunch of moves to deal with this already. It seems like Bison recovers pretty fast due to the teleport after he lands the EX knee press. I think he has just enough time for a cross up attempt. Alright, next special move. Let's call this one Psycho Sphere. The animation is Bison sticking one arm out and then blasting Nash with a sphere of Psycho Power. The sphere itself kind of reminds me of DiCaprio's Psycho Stream Ultra in Street Fighter 4. Now I'm pretty sure this is a charge move and I think this will be replacing Bison's Psycho Crusher. I think this will be his charge back then forward punch special attack. We see this move being used once but we see the EX version being used twice and in one of those times Bison is standing but he has more than enough time to buffer the charge after a jumping hard punch. Now I think the main application of this move is to use it as a combo tool. Ono actually sent us a screenshot showing this move against Chun-Li and it almost looks like she's throwing a fireball I can't quite tell. Let me know what you guys think, I wouldn't really be surprised if it could nullify projectiles as well. Now we know in the EX version of this move, Bison can follow it up with a head stomp, but we're not quite sure if he can do it after the normal version. He definitely doesn't recover as fast, and since we don't have the entire animation shown in the trailer, there's no way I can tell. One strange thing about this move though, is we see Nash go dizzy after Bison hits him in the trailer. We can see the stars floating on Nash's head just a little bit on the top of the screen. Perhaps this means that this move causes a large amount of stun? Obviously it wouldn't stun in just one hit, that'd be way too overpowered, but maybe it's implying that the move does a ton of stun. Alright, so let's change this up a bit. This time we're going to talk about his three remaining special attacks. His EX Cycle Sphere, his Head Stomp, and his EX Head Stomp, all at the same time. Now the animation for the EX Cycle Sphere is pretty much the same except Bison is using both his hands this time. Also, Bison's classic head stomp returns in Street Fighter V, the animation looks pretty much the same and still looks like it tracks the opponent. I'm almost positive that the head stomp is still a charge, charge down, then up and kick, and I'll show you guys some proof of that in a second here. Now the first big thing we notice here is that Bison is able to follow up a head stomp after the EX Psychosphere, but it OTGs, the opponent is lying on the ground, he's already knocked down. Now Bison recovers a lot faster after the EX Cycle Sphere, and I'll show you guys a quick clip here. So this is the EX Cycle Sphere the first time I showed in the trailer, and then Bison uses it, and then it hits him. Okay, now I'm gonna go frame by frame, and we're gonna see actually when Bison goes neutral and starts charging down for the head stomp. So just watch Bison here, and then as soon as we see him start ducking, see, he's already returned to neutral at this point, and he's charging down for the head stomp. Now look where Nash is, look how high he is in the air. That's a really fast recovery. So, Bison's charging down, now watch his head. Bison's ducking, and then what we're going to see is the first frame of the head stomp. So he's buffering the charge, and then suddenly Bison will duck again. Right here, see? That was the first frame of the head stomp. Now this is important to show because I'm showing you guys how fast Bison is actually recovering and I'm also proving that Head Stomp is still a charge. Now the fact that Bison can OTG after a Head Stomp is absolutely insane because there is no mechanic like this in Street Fighter 4 at all. We also haven't seen this being done before with Ryu, Chun-Li or Nash and Ono did quote that each character in Street Fighter 5 is going to feel more unique than ever before. This reminds me of the Pursuit Attack in the Darkstalker series, but the fact that Head Stomp already tracks the opponent makes perfect sense that it can be used as an OTG. This will also give Head Stomp a more blatant use because before, players would just use Head Stomp randomly and it's used to kind of like harass the opponent, but it wasn't really that safe. But as a combo ender tool, it makes perfect sense. Now some people have said that maybe the purple flame effect has something to do with this OTG. You're only able to OTG if the person is on fire from the purple flame. Uh, that's kind of doubtful because we see the EX head stomp nullify the flame on the first hit and then on the second hit it's still OTGs. Now can you use the head stomp as an OTG after any attack as long as the opponent's lying on the ground? We don't know for certain man. I wish I could see the entire animation of the whole process. but. If you could, maybe you have enough time to land it after a back throw. Judging from the trailer right now, it only looks like you have enough time to land that head stomp as an OTG after the EX version of that Psychosphere. Since it recovers so damn fast, and it would make the Psychosphere have a more straightforward use on what it's used for. Now the hitbox on this sphere is pretty damn big man. If you were able to use this as an anti-air for example, maybe you'll have just enough time to use a head stomp after the normal version too. Now the biggest question of this entire trailer is what is going on when Bison is comboing his EX Psychosphere into his EX Head Stomp. 
We know that Bison is able to combo a normal head stomp after an EX Cycle Sphere, so why is it we see in the cancelling animation this time? So in the trailer we see Bison activate his V-Trigger. And then in the next clip, we know for sure that Bison's V-Trigger is still activated. And this is really important. And then Bison does this little combo, so he does Jumping Hard Punch into a Crouching Medium Punch. And then he cancels that into an EX Cycle Sphere. Now we know for sure Bison has enough time to block for the charge for this. Because Crouching Medium Punch, he just charges back and then forward and then two punches. But here's where things get really weird. After the EX Cycle Sphere hits, which is right here, Bison literally goes right into EX Head Stomp. It's a cancel. And I don't really know why this is necessary, because we already know that his regular Head Stomp links after the EX Cycle Sphere. So why would he need to cancel into it? Anyways, watch this next frame that I show you. Look at Bison. That's the next frame. Now all of a sudden, Bison is already in the first frame of the EX Head Stomp. Um, he doesn't even like start moving down. It means that it's literally a cancel of one special attack into the other. And then Bison does his double EX head stomp here. So like I said before, why is it necessary for Bison to cancel into the EX head stomp? The EX head stomp clearly has fast startup frames and it still tracks the opponent and it's still OTGs. My second question is how the hell is Bison able to buffer these two charge attacks at the same time in the first place? Unless this is some kind of crazy like King of Fighters motion with Ash where you're able to do like a triangle motion and you buffer the charge for the forward and the up. I don't think this is really practical. I don't think Capcom would make a combo that hard. Something that seems like a bread and butter. They wouldn't really force someone to learn this crazy triangle motion. One thing that might explain this is that Cycle Sphere doesn't require a charge. But if it didn't require a charge and it was a motion, then how would you charge for the head stop in the first place? Now I made it very clear to you guys that the V-Trigger was activated when Bison did this combo. That is the key difference because in the first combo with the EX Cycle Sphere, when Bison does his regular head stomp, V-Trigger is not activated. So there's only two possibilities I can think off the top of my head. The first possibility is that V-Trigger makes it so Bison no longer requires a charge. So by doing the combo, he'd simply just go back forward two punches and then down up two kicks. The second possibility is that after V-Trigger is activated, the EX Head Stomp comes out automatically after the EX Cycle Sphere. So his EX moves will be empowered when he has his V-Trigger activated, but I'm not too sure about that either because we've already seen his EX Knee Press being used while his V-Trigger is activated and it looks pretty much the same. We didn't see any crazy EX Head Stomp follow up after that. So the only logical thing to say with the footage that we have is that Bison no longer needs to charge when he has his V-Trigger activated and he's able to cancel certain special attacks into others. I find this kind of fishy though because we already know that Chun-Li can cancel a special attack into a special attack when she has her V-Trigger activated so it's kind of redundant that both Bison and Chun-Li would have similar V-Triggers. Either way we simply just don't have enough information but let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Now as for the EX head stomp itself we see it do two reps you might think that this is two EX head stomps in a row, but I don't know, man. The animation seems too fluid for it to be a cancel. Also, after the second rep of the EX head stomp, we see Bison teleport back to his original location. The animation for the EX head stomp looks very similar to the Omega Bison in Street Fighter 4. All right, let's talk about Bison's V trigger itself now. The animation is Bison extending both his hands out and then he's engulfed in cycle power. Now, the speed of this animation seems very similar to Ryu and Chun-Li. We also know that this is a passive V-Trigger because Bison is actually on fire. He's got these purple flames all around his body and it stays around him even when he's doing his combos. So what does Bison's V-Trigger actually do? Honestly, we just don't have enough information to know. The only hint we actually have is the fact that he cancels his EX Cycle Sphere into his EX Head Stop. So let me just list the possibilities with the evidence that we've found. First possibility is that Bison no longer needs to charge when he does his special attacks, allowing him to do combos that he otherwise couldn't do. Second thing, and we're almost positive about this, he's able to cancel one EX move into another EX move. Third thing is that it enhances his special attacks, so he does his EX head stomp automatically. And maybe he's not able to cancel the EX head stomp after the EX knee press because he's not on the ground. Fourth thing is that the fact that Bison is doing two EX moves in one combo after he activates, which means he spent his entire meter, that's a lot of meter to do that combo, man. That's crazy. This leads us to the possibility that Bison might have infinite EX meter after activating V-Trigger, or at least gain a large amount of meter or regen meter after activation. 
finally, let's talk about Bison's Ultra. Bison's Ultra is called Perfect Psycho Crusher, and he actually says this in Japanese in the trailer. Now the animation to this Ultra is pretty damn sick, we actually get to see the entire thing from beginning to end. Now the animation to this Ultra reminds a lot of people about the Boss Ultra in the Alpha series. But it's pretty different man, the real animation is literally just Bison engulfed in a huge sphere of Psycho Power and it blows up. He floats up a little bit and it looks like his entire body is actually the hitbox. This leads us to believe that this could be used as an anti-air, and also leads us to believe that this could be really easy to combo into. This reminds me of Ogre's attack in Street Fighter Cross Tech, and I'll show you guys a quick clip of that. This looks like it'll be really great to use offensively and defensively. Now after watching this Ultra, I'm almost convinced now that Ryu is the only character in the game in Street Fighter V that has two Ultras. Because I'm not really sure what Bison's Ultra would do if it was enhanced when he has his V-Trigger activated. This would make a lot of sense for Ryu because his fireball is empowered when he activates his V-Trigger and thus since his ultra itself is a fireball, it makes perfect sense that it become the Denjin. Anyways, back to the Bison Ultra itself. When it hits, Bison actually started this from mid-screen and then the opponent is put into the corner after it hits. So this ultra would also be a good corner carry and then Bison teleports back himself to mid-screen. Another thing I should mention is that since the Psycho Crusher is his ultra, and given the move list that we've seen, I don't think that the Psycho Crusher is returning as a regular special attack for Bison. And speaking of special moves not returning, we don't know if his Skull Diver or his Devil's Reverse is returning. We don't have the entire footage of the regular head stomp, but on the EX head stomp, it definitely doesn't look like you can follow up with the Skull Diver since he teleports back on the screen. Alright guys, so that's it for my M. Bison trailer breakdown. Thanks a lot guys for taking the time to watch this video, it was a lot of fun to make. I'm really excited for seeing what next character Capcom brings out. They said it's going to be a character that hasn't been seen in a while. So we know it's a returning character for sure. The next footage we'll be getting for Street Fighter V will be during E3, which is coming very, very soon. And you guys can of course expect me to do more breakdowns like this in the future. So till then guys, take care.